Is this the grim end to the mystery of Mexico's missing students? The government seems to think so with human remains found and claims of a confession to mass murder. But without firm evidence of identification, the families of the 43 trainee teachers won't accept their loved ones are dead. Authorities say three suspected gang members admitted killing and incinerating the students, saying they'd been handed over by police. Unidentified remains were found at a river close to the southern town of Iguala, where they disappeared six weeks ago. But their relatives, critical of the investigation, want proof. This mother says the attorney general himself has said that there's no certainty over the remains. We want an outcome, but with proof. Only when we're sure that what the attorney general is saying is the truth, only then will we accept it. DNA testing by experts in Austria will be difficult, the government admits, but Mexico's president says justice will be done. Padres, to the parents, relatives and colleagues of the students, I reiterate my solidarity and the total support of my administration. The investigations will be carried out whatever the consequences. All the guilty will be punished under the rule of law. On Tuesday, police captured Iguala's fugitive former mayor and his wife, suspected of being the masterminds behind the abduction. Over 70 others have also been arrested over the disappearance of the students who'd clashed with police. Officers are among those detained.